Welcome to Shocker Highlights. I'm your humble editor, Robert Davis. We get our first look at the Marshall Plan in the first exhibition game against Arkansas Tech. Before we even get to the highlights, let's cover my first couple of criticisms of this season. So the whole opening montage thing just isn't something that fires you up. Here's the problem. It's a nice little video that every player gets their face up there like it's the opening credits of a TV show, but it just doesn't have the same oomph of that first montage we had when the arena opened up. The finish of that one with Wooshock taking off on a dunk with a NASA countdown and the finishing line of this house is rockin', damn right it was. That video was about saying this is the best place ever to be right now. The current video doesn't do that. Same thing with the, the noise meter. It used to say loud, louder, shocking. Now it doesn't. Well, yippee. But all of that paled to my biggest peeve of this season. What's with the generic black and white uniforms? Seriously! Uh, th there's no yellow on it whatsoever. WSU Shockers look more like the UPC Shockers. I have expected to see a barcode instead of a number. Instead of Wichita State on the front, the words Compare generics to your name brand merchandise. Ugly. Okay, I feel better now. Uh, time for the actual basketball highlights. Let's get to it. Our first highlights feature P.J. Kuznard. Part of the Marshall plan is to have him shoot more from the outside. Looks like a good plan. Uh, here's three of his four three-pointers, the last generating a timeout from our tech, and finally a soft dunk. Uh, which I'll warn you happens kind of quickly because it was uh, off a half-court pass from Gal McCall. Talking about Mikel, he also had nice moments passing, shooting the three, or going straight to the basket. The next highlights take off where we left off. This time, Gal makes a behind-the-back pass to PJ, who finishes with an acrobatic layup. It's blurry at the start. Hey, it's my preseason, too. Uh, there's one of Gal driving to the basket, followed by a three-pointer, and another good pass for an easy basket to Phil Thomason. And what I actually appreciated most was the mid-range jump shot. When you talk about Phil Thomason, the guy's everywhere. Here's him getting a couple of putbacks, one where he gets a nice little pass from Gal, and finally Phil connecting on a long shot. Matt Breyer scored 18 points. Here's a couple of three-pointers he hit in a row, a third that needed a shooter's bounce to go in, a layup, and a fast break basket.
guys. Uh, I've got one of Ramon Clemente with a putback, then three of Aaron Ellis uh, with a putback of his own, a long shot, and a three-pointer. Probably be my favorite player. I always cheer on the guy wearing number zero. So there you have it. Uh, when you see just the highlights, you'd think it was a pretty good game. The reality is that the team looks every bit as rough as a team with a new coaching staff and several new players would look. There's definitely talent here, but can it gel well enough to compete for a conference title is going to be interesting to watch. For Shocker Highlights, I'm Robert Davis. Check you later.